Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy, Never, and you're watching The Never Show. Yes, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? And uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing and hitting that little bell icon and liking my videos. It's better than I deserve and more than I thought I'd ever get. Thank you. With that said, uh, let's get right into today's movie. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what's going on. So let's get that started. And today's movie is Overlord. It's a rated R movie. It's an hour and 15 minutes. It's an action adventure horror kind of thing. And yes, I'm doing horror outside of Horrorween. But I just wasn't ready to do Christmas movies. And with The Nutcracker and The Grinch being next up, I had to pick something that was recent. And this was what was available to me. Uh, the director was J. Julius Avery. Billy Ray and Marcus L. Smith were the writers on this. I can't say I've seen anything that they've written on recently. And their cast first build only. Uh, Giovanna Adepo as Boyce. Uh, I love his character. Uh, he is super endearing. Riot Wessel as Ford. This guy, he seems like the bad guy, but he's not. And it's he's a ends up being a decent guy in the end. Uh, Mathilda Oliver as Chloe, Pacquiao as Bic, as Wiffer, Wen Wenfer. Not too good with names. John Amego as Tibet, Ind Kashiker as Chase. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Jacob Anderson as Dawson. Thank you for having an easy pronouncing name. Name Jacob uh, Dominic. Applewhite as Rossfield, another easy pronounced name. Gertani Tuffer as Paul. Uh, Joseph Quinn as Grunther or Gunther. Grun Grunter, maybe. I'm not good with names. You know me. <laughs> Boken Woodbine as Reason. Uh, Eric Redman as Dr. Schmidt. Uh, Mark Klima as Murphy. Uh, Michael. Carmichael or Haley Carmichael as Miss Lesnar Mark Resson as Schuster Schuster I'm not good with names so if you want me to read names all day uh, put the hashtag in the comments and I'll make a video so far there's been no takers but hey uh, we could really use those comments now I'm going to explain to why I feel this movie it's not that great, but it's decent. It's not one of those things that's badly written. It just feels like it's in a bad place because we just recently had had uh, Veterans Day. And this is, you know, 1944 on the eve of D-Day. You know, Americans go into France. And I'm not really spoiling the story. You've heard this story a hundred times before in every other war movie. But... Upon landing, there, you know, there's all sorts of problems. People die. Planes get shot down. You've you've heard this all before. But when it comes down to achieving their target, which is a church inside a castle, what 
do we have here? We have Nazi zombies. Uh, I just don't, I don't have a fear for Nazis or zombies anymore. And especially with what's going on in the world where everybody's suddenly a Nazi for not agreeing with somebody else. I find it very uncomfortable. It just felt wrong for me to be watching this. The occultism aside and everything, I do enjoy a good horror movie, but this, I'm not afraid of zombies anymore. I don't know why, but zombies are an overused and over, it's an overused trope. Let's just put it that way. And yeah, I I get, I get kind of tired of it. Whoops. Let's uh, just run down our production companies. Shall we, before I go too far into my own review, uh, Bad Robot and Paramount Pictures and our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love was Paramount Pictures. Our special effects were for the image, image engine design, ILM, which they have one of the Trinity. Oh my gosh. So that does make this a very visually beautiful movie and very visually exciting to see. Uh, Mr. Act, Vinaj, I always have trouble with this, V-I-Z-N-A-G-E, Vizinage, uh, Rodeo, VFX, and that's it. So they got one of the Trinity, and that's why this movie is very visually wonderful, but it's a horror movie and, ugh, you know. Do you really want wonderful views of innards being splurted and gross zombies? And it being produced by J.J. Abrams. Uh, he didn't write or direct on this, so I, I'm a fan of his writing and directing style. I'm just not a fan of this. And it doesn't really help the film that his name is on the poster and everything. I'd like to say more. But I don't want to spoil it if you really are interested in this. It is a it is a 7-2 on IMDb out of 10. And it is a 3.8 out of 5. People seem to like it. It's 80%, I mean, for the Rotten Tomato Meter, which is certified fresh for them, which uh, I also want to see what CinemaSins thinks. I like being kept honest. You know what I'm saying? It feels good to know that when I get dazed and dazzled from the decadence of too many films that I can watch what they're doing and say, oh, yeah, well, that makes sense, even though it's a giant leap to get there. You know what I'm saying? And I was worried about going back and reviewing an older film, just to be honest with you, because we've had some really hard time with especially picking older films. And I didn't want to let you guys down. So, yeah. It's a B movie overall. And if you're okay with, you know, Nazi zombies and World War II history being mangled on film. Yeah. Just because, you know, it was Veterans Day. And I don't think veterans would be too cool with this. Just to be honest with you. So, yeah. Definite TV watch. Gonna pass on a DVD buy. Might be a red box rental sometime in the future if you know this is all that's available. Uh, definite theater pass, and because uh, next week we're gonna have off, I'm probably not gonna go see this again. I'll probably go see some something else because it is Thanksgiving and I do need some time off. I haven't missed a week in gosh, forever it seems like now. And if you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. It means absolutely nothing in the YouTube algorithm. But hey, if you like like what you like, I'm not going to tell you to. Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Tell me your realities, your fan fictions, your tales of yay, your tales of ennui. Tell me if you like this movie, if you hate this movie. Because if you're a veteran, in the comments, tell me if you feel offended that they're mangling uh, World War II for you you know uh you know i have to ask i have an amazon i have a patreon yes we fix patreon thank you for telling me in the comments and you can donate through those portals uh you don't realize how little i have to do so much it is not without your donations that i keep this channel afloat thank you and with all that said if you want to see more of this nonsense make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon ring a ding ding and i will see you all in the next movie review. Bye!
Thank you.